Hi again, everyone. My name is Mike Barmundi. I am a business development manager for IGEL based in Seattle, Washington. As you can see, I'm hunkered down in my home in this work from home environment that we now all live in. And I wanted to kind of show you some tips and tricks to maybe help uh, alleviate that with IGEL technology. Today, I'm going to be demoing a UD Pocket with Citrix Workspace and show you the ease of how IGEL can help enable Citrix um, for maybe your new work from home users. So real quickly, a UD Pocket is basically a piece of hardware the size of a small USB key here that can plug into any x86 device. It could be Intel AMD base, could be a PC or a Mac. It can boot off it, leaving the original oper operating system working down below. And when it boots, it creates a secure operating system, and then it is then managed by what's called the IGEL UMS. I'm going to swap over to a laptop now, and I'll show you exactly how this works. So here you can see is my wife's laptop running Windows. I'm simply going to take the UD Pocket, and pop it in the USB port, and I'm going to reboot this computer and boot from USB. Now, one thing that you are going to definitely notice is that your users will have questions about how to boot from USB. So that might be the biggest operational lift when you're talking about how to actually address that is, hey, you have Dells, you have Lenovo's, you have HP, how do I uh, enable boot from USB? So we do have a KB article on IGEL's website that shows you um, some of the common commands between those different vendors. The other thing that we can do here is we can pretty much operate in any uh, BIOS environment, right? It could be legacy boot, it could be UEFI boot, even could be secure boot. We can operate in under any of those conditions. I'm just going to quickly choose USB storage device under legacy boot and get right into the IGEL OS. As you can see here, the uh, logo is shown on the bottom right-hand corner. And within about 10 to 15 more seconds, we're going to be at the IGEL screen. So the other thing that I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to bounce over to our management server and show you exactly how things are done from that end um, once the device is booted. So you can see it's linking up and it's going to get those policies from that management server. So now I'm going to move over to the management server and show you exactly what that looks like. Okay. So here you can see the IGEL management server. Um, here I have a folder called Citrix. And the way that the UMS works is very similar to Active Directory. You create policies um, based on one of the numerous features found in IGEL. You create your own unique directory structure and you drag and drop and enable those policies uh, based on how you have things organized, very Active Directory-like. So here on the Citrix folder, I have things like enable Wi-Fi, uh, the Citrix session um, that I have pre-set up things like my username and password. You can create variables for your users that are based there and some other things. Um, the one I wanted to highlight and to show you is what's called secure shadowing. It enables you to take and create a secure VNC connection to any of your IGEL devices um, that you have managed under the UMS. So you can see here, this is the actual uh, uh, laptop that I have running with the UD Pocket at this point. So I'm going to quickly double click my Citrix workspace and you can see here I have those credentials pre-stored. So it's logging into Citrix storefront and it's going to grab all the different applications that I have that I want published. Uh, from an IGEL perspective, we respect whatever the publishing mechanisms and rules that you have inside of Citrix to be able to put those on the desktop. So you can say, hey, you know, I want to either put it into a kiosk mode that shows all the different things kind of up here or maybe I just want to show um, certain applications plus the desktop that are living on the IGEL desktop. And there you go, you see those happening right now. So here's like an on-prem desktop. I can quickly click on this. It's going to create uh, that connection to a VDI desktop primarily running on-prem. One of the things about IGEL that's unique is that we can connect to your apps, your data, your uh, workspaces, as you can see here, they can be on-prem, they can be in the cloud, wherever they may be, you can connect to those. Here's also Microsoft Word that I'll start up as well to kind of show what a published application looks like. So there's my uh, Windows 10 desktop uh, running on Citrix that I can get to any of my resources like Office 365 through a web browser there um, or through an installed um, Office set of applications. But you can also see I'm also logging in um, within IGL to get to my Microsoft Word piece as well. So here I'm going to, and there's the, the Microsoft Word that's running natively as a published application. So I'm going to close out on my desktop here. And I'm going to show you what it looks like when you're actually done working. What does a user see? 
right? I mean, what do they experience? So I'm done working in Word, right? I'm going to log off my Citrix environment, and I'm going to go back and stop sharing my screen and go back to the actual laptop view. As you can see here, everything's removed. All you, ha you have to do is simply remove the UD pocket. At that point, the laptop turns off, and I can turn it back on, and it'll boot right into the native operating system that's installed. So again, my, uh, my wife's computer using Windows, it'll boot right back into that. And uh, she should be able to work um, from there on out doing whatever she needs to do. Again, a very quick and easy method of working from home using existing user devices, as long as they're Intel based or AMD based, x86 based um, from your house. So again, you know, with everything that's going on, technology like this can definitely be helpful. Uh, more information in the links below. Uh, please reach out to us if you need anything. Please stay safe. Thank you.